Australia has one of the most diverse set of ecosystems in the world and is home to some of the most unusual animals on the planet. But with increasing urban development, humans and animals are coming into conflict and many native species are at risk. Help is at hand and all over the country, dedicated people are opening their hearts and homes and rescuing Australian animals. The wetlands of country Victoria are an important wildlife habitat. Valuable for their unique ecosystems, they are home to over 100 species of waterbirds. But in Victoria every year, the waterbirds come under threat. As the first day of duck hunting season begins, the birds come under fire. But over 80 wildlife rescuers from all over the country are here to help. A mobile intensive care unit will treat the injured birds, set up by rescuer Denise Garrett, along with vet Dr Chris Andrews. We don't want to scare birds up into the guns, so only a handful of rescuers go out. Passionate environmentalist Laurie Levy coordinates the field rescuers who face snake-infested waters and stray gunshots to save the few ducks they can. But despite the enormous effort, sadly, all too often, it is too late. It's bleeding everywhere. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is a, a pink-eared duck. As you can see by the exquisite little pink patch just behind the ear here, the ze zebra striping on the chest. Unfortunately, this, uh, this one's dead. Wildlife rescuer Manfred Zabinskis spends hours deep in the snake-infested swamps in the hope he can save at least one bird. It is a lot of hard work, but um, when you go out there and you find a duck that's been shot and left to die slowly in the reeds, and you know there are plenty out there like that, what choice have we got? Shot in the body. Another black duck left to rot. What a waste. We're getting quite a lot of these guys. There's still a live one around here somewhere because I saw him flapping about five minutes ago. While Manfred continues his search, at the intensive care unit, there's an emergency. Sadly, yet again, it is too late. It's a highly emotional thing dealing with pain and suffering in wildlife. They're the innocent victims, they're the quiet ones, they don't have a voice. Multiple shots in the body. We do the best we can to patch them up and get them back out again. But to see deliberate pain inflicted on gentle creatures like that is very, very difficult to work with, it really is. But hopefully things won't change. It's not just ducks that are at risk. It's this one which at this stage we're not sure of whether he's got any injuries. We're thinking it's just exhaustion. So we're going to take him back to the vet clinic and um, get him checked out. So if I can climb in, just the sooner we get there the better. We don't think he's injured, we think he's just exhausted. Tend to be when they're, when they're stressed. And they're Yep, okay. Don't see anything physically wrong with either of these wings and they're sitting perfectly. Can this bird hold its head up? If we t take that off and see what happens.
No, just cover it every day. Oh. Alright. We're going to need some cage rest and some treatment for shock. This bird doesn't appear to have injured itself, it is just absolutely stressed and uh, it, its survival is not assured, it could yet die. But out on the swamp there is some hope. Manfred has seen an injured duck which he has a chance of saving. Well, I'm just chuck the dead ones out is more important. The duck is in shock. Manfred must get it to the intensive care unit as quickly as he can. Keep him warm. Keep his head to the cupboard. A black duck, is it perhaps? Looks like it's a big one. It's a black duck. See the, the feathers edged in uh, beige all the way around the outside on the big green hey, panel on the wing. I haven't checked his face yet. I so we'll make this quick. With the duck in shock, Dr. Chris must oh, carefully nice. check for pellet wounds. Looks pretty good. This wing seems fine, nice and springy. Pops back into place, sits nicely. On further examination, Dr. Chris discovers a serious problem. Like this one. What's this? A broken wing. The Pacific black duck that has just been brought in has uh, a broken right radius and ulna. Um, they have uh, those bones in the, the wing in exactly the same position as we have in our forearm, just between elbow and wrist. Both bones appear to be fractured right in the middle. There may be a chance of saving the wing, but first, Dr. Chris must get the bird's shock under control. All right, we'll uh, treat it for it with antibiotics, and we'll treat it for stress. Dr. Chris and Denise are hoping the duck with the broken wing will make it. They have named him Johnson, but if he's to have any chance of recovery, First, he needs vital nutrition. Fine, so do you want me to move over? You stay there. Okay. No peeping. Right. Now this is a commercial mix of proteins and carbohydrates and fats and minerals and vitamins. See, he's drinking it. Yep. Five miles done. Great. Ready? Mm. Off to bed. All they can do now is keep Johnson warm and quiet until his wing can be x-rayed in the morning. The hunters have finally finished for the day, but for Manfred and the rest of the team, there's little more they can do for the ducks. Many of them are dead. There's been the, the odd injured one coming in. We're also starting to see some non-shot ones that are, that are all exhausted and from being chased and followed and not finding places to land with all the people out there. So the rescues have actually decided to go back to camp, give the birds a break, give themselves a rest, come back out when the shooters are back in action. But there is some good news. After some essential rest, the black swan has recovered and is ready to be released. Does that look like that, mate? It's all about.